Hello and welcome to all my dear bachus. After completing the practice set, now let us do some test of parallelogram. Okay? Now test of parallelogram means some test will prove that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Which is the test? Very simple theorems. Okay? Hi, very childish theorems. Uh, so don't be scared. So first test of parallelogram goes this way. They say that if you have a quadrilateral and if the opposite sides are congruent, so, wo parallelogram hai. What is it? If the opposite sides of quadrilateral are congruent, then it is a parallelogram. So, what is given here? If a pair of opposite sides of quadrilateral are congruent. This is given part. What we have to prove? That it is a parallelogram. That we have to prove. What is a parallelogram? A quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. So, agar hume parallel mela opposite sides, then it is a parallelogram. Okay. So, let us start the proof. Draw a figure which looks like a parallelogram. Okay. Pehle hi hum usko parallelogram we will not call. First, we will call it as a quadrilateral. Then later on we will prove that it is a parallelogram. Okay. Let's get started. Yeah. So, I have drawn a quadrilateral. I'll name it as A, B, C, D. And write given. Please don't write that this is parallelogram. No. We have to prove that it is parallelogram. So, given we will write quadrilateral A, B, C, D. What is given? Pair of opposite sides are congruent. So, let us show these two pair congruent, these two pair congruent. And write it in given side A, B congruent to side D, C. Side A, D congruent to side B, C. Fine, these two are given. Now to prove, to prove quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, this we have to prove. That quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, let us start the proof for that. We will have to draw the diagonal AC. Any one diagonal. Okay, we will draw diagonal AC. So, let's draw diagonal AC. Write proof. We okay, prove these two triangles congruent. And then we will take CACT accordingly. CACT S alenge. We get alternate angles. Okay. Ah, so, our first thing is prove these two triangles congruent. You will get it very easily. Start in triangle ADC. And triangle ADC means I, have, I am going from 2 mark the side to 1 mark the side. So you should also go from 2 mark the side to 1 mark the side. That is CBA. Huh. Side AD congruent to, you complete. Side AB congruent to, complete. Side AC congruent to, complete. Side AC is congruent to side AC only. Okay. Here you will write common side. Common side as reason. And here you will write given. So simple. So you got both the triangles congruent by. Therefore triangle ADC congruent to triangle CBA by SSS test. So simple. Now why did we do this? To get CACT. I mean, call the CACT we will take. Which CACT we will consider? We want to prove this as parallelogram. Matlab, we want to prove that the opposite sides are parallel. If the opposite sides are parallel, the alternate angle should be congruent. Okay. Now we are going ulta. We will go from alternate angles and then we will say the sides are parallel. Which angles are looking like alternate angle? That is angle B, A, C, this angle, congruent to angle A, C, D. Which are alternate angles you will take? First is this one, no? So, D, C, A, D, C, A and C, A, B. C, A, B. Okay? So, you will write there for, first you have to mark the alternate angles. Fine? So, we started with this triangle, no? So, which angle will come first? DCA angle, DCA angle, congruent to angle, which is the next angle? 
B A C B A C Check whether it is coming properly D C A B A C Correct order it is coming no okay Now reason you will write here C A C T First you will take alternate angles looking triangles angles which will look like alternate angles but you will write the reason as CACT. Oh, after that you will write, oh, okay, these both are alternate angles. Okay, first you will write CACT. Later on you will realize, yeah, these two angles are alternate angles. Agar alternate angles congruent mila to, the lines are parallel. Okay, so if these two angles are congruent, therefore I will write that side AB is parallel to side DC. Why? Why? By converse of alternate angles test. Converse of alternate angles test. Always remember children, when lines are given parallel, then you are writing alternate angles, you will write alternate angles test. Alternate angles you are writing first, then you are writing about parallel, you will write the reason as converse of alternate angles test. Parallel pehle diya hai, to alternate angles test. Yaha pe we are proving that the sides are parallel. So, converse of alternate angles test. Did you get the idea? First you will act, okay, ha, CACT. Then you will say, aray, these two angles are looking like alternate angles. Matlab, lines are parallel. Okay, similarly take the next two, consider the next two alternate angles. Similarly, you can consider the next alternate angles that is DAC with blue I have marked. Angle DAC congruent to angle ACB or BCA. BCA. Just see DAC BCA. Same way. Na? Here you will write CACD. Iske baad, okay, but these two angles are also alternate angles. So, therefore, which two sides are parallel? Eh? If you consider this blue alternate angle, which two sides are parallel? This side AD and side DC. So, therefore, side AD parallel to side BC. Again, you will write the reason as alternate angles test. Okay? Uh, for 9th standard, we give marks for writing. Even if you don't write converse, no problem. You can write alternate angles test. But write this. Okay. So we got both the opposite sides parallel. Okay. First you proved the triangles congruent by SSS test. Then you took CACT. Kaise liya CACT? Such that you, you are taking the alternate angles. Uske baad acting kiya. Okay. They are looking like alternate angles. That means the sides are parallel. So now we can write. Last step. Now you will write. In quadrilateral ABCD, side AB parallel to side CD, side AD parallel to side BC. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a, is a parallelogram is a parallelogram. You are seeing that it is a parallelogram because it is by definition. By definition we know that. No need to write the definition. Just write by definition. We know that if a quadrilateral has opposite sides parallel then it is a parallelogram. That only we proved. So did you understand the first test of parallelogram? Okay. So children with the next test we will meet in the next class. Till then learn this and write it in your book.